Hi, my name is Emma Aronson. Um, I am an assistant professor at the University of California, Riverside. Um, I study mostly biogeochemistry, um, and uh, I look at uh, how microorganisms cycle uh, greenhouse gases into and out of soils, um, how they uh, get from one place to another, so the assembly of microbial communities in soils, um, and I also investigate uh, how uh, climate and environmental shifts are impacting microbial communities and what does that mean for ecosystems. Um, I've been interested in better ways of dealing with data for a long time. I've kind of thought that there's all these different mechanisms. Because I'm cross-disciplinary, I have to deal with the standards and um, metadata versus data, those sort of different um, pieces of the puzzle for many different disciplines. And uh, so I thought from for a long time, there should be a better standardization, there should be some consensus body, there should be some way to do that. And I guess I got involved specifically in EarthCube uh, last year at the All Hands meeting. I was invited to go as a representative of a NEON um, member institution. My, my institution is a NEON member. They had some funds for early career members. Um, and so they sent me to the All Hands meeting. And once I got there, got pretty fired up and uh, very excited. And now uh, I was elected a few months ago as the co-chair of the science committee. Um, so I am not a membership in membership of the leadership council. That's the chair of the science committee. But I am uh, effectively helping uh, the chair to manage the science committee. And um, a lot of important tasks we're working on right now. So it's, it's a, a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work. Yeah. So uh, I see EarthCube as playing a vital role in advancing um, the sciences, uh, geosciences as a whole, which is so all-encompassing. There's a lot of uh, uh, atmospheric and, and, you know, obviously earth sciences, but, you know, biological sciences that are related to earth sciences, related to atmospheric processes. EarthCube, um, can and should in the future be a central source for the toolkit that any of these scientists needs in order to find interesting data from others, in order to share their data, in order to uh, collaborate with others on the collection or the modeling of data. Um, EarthCube should have uh, just a set of tools that you can use that are low barrier of entry. They're free and they're also um, relatively easy to learn. Uh, and so EarthCube should be, it, EarthCube is uh, currently um, a group of scientists who are working very hard to make it possible for there to be this free toolkit of sources, resources for scientists um, to, to collect and share their data. Um, and uh, EarthCube is working towards, um, working towards making science better uh, across disciplines, making it integrate better, making it um, lower barrier of entry, making it so that uh, every scientist has access to the tools that they need.